Okay, so today we are going to go to digitallearn.org and I'm going to give you a short tour of digitallearn.org. I will try to show you some areas that you might find useful after you join and I will also browse a little bit so if I get lost along the way you'll get lost with me but I'll try to stay on track. Here we go. There are two sides to digitallearn.org and today we are going to look at the help learners side. This is for the teachers and instructors. You can either go up here and click on teach or you can go down here to help learners. Usually because my mouse is toward the top I click on teach. At this point in time you would create your profile and let's say that you already have created your profile and now we are going to look around. What you will find is a blog down here uh, along the bottom left and these will be the most recent posts by people. Um, you, These are d done by interest group and different kinds of groups and so it's in your best interest to go ahead and join. Your first group to join would be the Nebraska group because that is how we're going to share our successes and questions with each other in particular. You can also share them with for the good of the entire group but this is going to be our platform for communication between the Nebraska Library Digital Literacy Coaching Corps members. So if you scroll down just a little bit, there are three different kinds of groups, general groups, local groups, and interest groups. Let's go to the local groups first. Most likely there will be something that says something like join one. It'll say you don't belong to any of these yet and you will join one. And so you will go to the local groups area and you will have a choice between several states and of course you'll choose Nebraska. And then you will be able to create a new post. I'm the group manager so that probably won't be showing up on your screen but this is where you would po post your new post. And when you do that you could either do a blog which is an announcement or a discussion which would be more of a question or if you have an event that's coming up that you want us to know about a class that you are giving, this is where you would do it. And I believe if you do file, let's find out, a new post, I wonder if you can upload a document. You can. So if you create a brochure or a uh, if you create a news release or anything to that effect, uh, this is where you would upload it. This is probably where I will be uploading all of our evaluation materials and this is where you would be able to access them. That's most likely where we'll be at. Let's go back to groups for a second. Um, if you had been on the teaching side, I'm going to go back one more where we started after you had clicked on teach and after you were signed in. If you scroll down again, you would go down to um, general groups and there are several to choose from and there's also several interest groups to choose from. But let's explore all groups, which is down here, and then you can see them all at one time. General groups is at the top and I have already introduced myself in members introductions. I have already jo joined that group. I believe you're a member of all four groups, um, whether you want to be or not. Right here it says jump to and so here's where you would jump down to local and there is Nebraska. Uh, we are listed probably first because we are the most recent one to join. Um, you can also go distance from me. I gave us a radius of about 200 miles, 210 miles, so that um, it will ask you for your location I believe when you first log in and then they will be able to figure out how far you are away from your closest group. If you go back up to the top, you could have clicked on interest. Your other option is just to keep scrolling all the way down. And here are some interest groups that have been created. And this is uh, going to be a great opportunity for sharing based on subject matter. And you can look through what's going on. Um, let's see, there should be one about evaluation that I created, I believe. There it is, evaluation methods. I'm not sure if I created it, but let me join it. It says zero members. Let me go to evaluation methods and here I can join the group. 
There we are. Yes, I do want to join the group evaluation methods. So I assume that then when I go to back to teach, I can look at my groups here and see what I belong to and any posts that have been made in those areas will show up. Basically, it looks like a blog. These are blog posts. These are discussion. When I first did my first one, I wasn't sure if I should call it a blog post or a discussion post. But again, if you're introducing yourself, it's kind of like a blog post. If you're asking a question or posing a thought that you would like for people to comment on and follow up with you on that, you might choose discussion. And I think that takes care of all of the groups. This is basic, this is group centered. And um, this is a way for you to connect with the other Nebraskans. And it's also a way for you to connect with people across the nation. Let's say that you're going to offer a class on uh, creating a resume, then you could post a question perhaps in one of the interest groups. You might be able to find that and ask any kind of questions that you have about what's the best way to go about offering a class and creating a resume and that sort of thing. So it's a great resource. And there we go.